<laughs> Tory Lane and August Alcina, huh? Crazy. Crazy. You know I don't shoot at people on this channel. I mean, unless I got to. And and sometimes in a, in a conversation, I may not be shooting at you, but it may seem like that. But this one here is kind of particularly funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then not only is it funny, it's also odd. And you say, why would I say it's odd? Number one, August Alcina has some shit like that coming for real. Flat out, flat out, flat out, flat out. As men, we ought to have been cheated on. And the code is, if if you know a respectable man's girl's cheating on him, and you don't have a personal relationship with him, then you're not supposed to publicly put that out there. You're not. We as men, it's a lot of men that know they was cheating on, or men that's that know somebody's getting cheated on, and we don't say anything. It's a your man might know you fucking around, and he ain't saying shit. You know why? Cause in his mind, he already know he ain't willing to lead. He ain't ready to lead just yet, and he don't want to deal with the debate, the denial, <laughs> and the debauchery that's gonna come from being exposed. Cause whenever you expose a woman. And you put her and she's kind of mentally put in a corner with the truth. Oh, my God. It's like cornering a rodent in your backyard by mistake. You know what I'm saying? You trying to get some resolution and, and this bitch about to go to war. That's a fact. But anyway, August had that coming. He violated. He violated in a couple ways. If you in the man's circle... A man looking out for you, no matter if it's through his kid or through his woman, whatever he, whatever getting done for you, getting done through him, and and a woman out of pocket like that, you supposed to get him the courtesy of a heads up first. Bottom line, man, you wasn't supposed to put that out there like that. Not like that, dog. I can see you telling the homies in your circle a little key, key, key. You know that's as far as that's supposed to go, man. And Tory. Everybody been confused about this guy. We don't know if he did things that he was accused of. We don't know if he didn't do things if he accused of. But one thing has shown for sure. Old girl is a horrible drunk. And dog got the short man complex. Now, being a little nigga, which is what people may say, but I don't feel that way. Everybody always want to say you got it or think you got it. But being a little nigga, I've seen the difference. And this dude obviously got it. He got it. So now I got to wonder about that whole situation with him and baby. It's starting to both, as much time that went by, it's starting to look like both of them was wrong as hell based on how they act outside of them situations. I don't really use the word karma, but it is funny how energy brings itself to each other. You know what I'm saying? The, the the one that love to give it to people when they got it coming and the one who had it coming. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, man, y'all motherfuckers be cool. Enjoy your day. You know what I'm saying? And when the bullshit coming, stay out the way, man. Some shit ain't worth responding to and some shit ain't worth acting on. It ain't shit for us to acknowledge each other. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how you feel, we all deserve a hello. It ain't much to give. And to be honest... All bullshit aside, that should have stopped more violence in between black black people if we just spoke to each other. It's very disarming. Even if somebody did some bullshit, fuck it, give them a head nod. Because if you don't, that's you holding that weight. That's you holding that bullshit within to remember to do that. That takes your energy to remember to be funny to somebody. For real, for real. It takes energy out your brain. It takes energy out your heart. It takes your energy to be able to do that. So if somebody don't mean shit to you, why would you be putting energy into what it takes to ignore or act funny to them? You could just keep it moving. That would save a lot of bullshit. Because a lot of times, people be knowing they fucked up, but they be needing to know you ain't tripping on them because we all fuck up. And sometimes saying hello is good enough for that. People know they fucked up. You know, whatever he did that made dog not want to speak to him, he know what he did. He know he knew what he did. That's why he made an effort to speak. Respectfully, he did kind of humble himself, sticking his hand out. All the nigga had to do was, for sure, bro, I get it. Anyways, we about to get ready and get to work. We out of this bitch. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> funny. <laughs>